Monday on Daily Delivery. Michael Rand here, Patrick Royce with me. Uh, I don't think there's any secret what we're going to spend most of our time talking about today, Patrick. <laughs> Just get right into it. Timberwolves, 98, Denver, 90. Patrick, that game was 58-38 Denver early in the third quarter. It's a game seven. Wolves were down 15 at halftime, meaning their victory, Patrick, was the largest halftime comeback in game seven NBA playoff history, as far as we know. That's that's, uh, that's, that's amazing. what they're telling us today. It is incredible. You know, after game six, I was talking to my radio guys, and, uh, I, you know, the, a game in which you led by 50. Yes. And I said, I now believe in aliens. I don't, <laughs> I don't think, I don't believe all this science fiction stuff is science fiction anymore. I believe after it's watching this incredible idiotic series that I, that there's something going on in the planet, you know, and then <laughs> yesterday is even weirder. Oh, yeah. Last night, it was two the, the last two games, the last two games are the two weirdest games of all time. You, you all of a sudden you're, you know, the other night you look up and you're 45 ahead of them and you say, what happened? This is incredible. Denver packed it in. And then last night, you know, it's 58-38. Ant is, can't make a shot, can't get away from the defense. They're playing on them. Uh, their their offense looked like a complete mess. Yeah. And, uh, and here they come and start, you know, and it wasn't like a blitz. It was like, you know, they just held them. They, they'd not score, and then the Timberwolves would come down and hold the ball for 15 seconds and get a basket and uh, – and all of a sudden that you, you know, I, I wrote something like when this whole thing started, that there's nothing quite as weird as the NBA now, because you can be 15, 16 ahead in the middle of the third quarter, late in the third quarter. And the other team scores two baskets and you say, hey, I don't know. It's getting, yes, it's true. You know, leads, leads go disappear so fast, but this is, this was just incredible. And, uh, you know, Denver by the, you know, with six, seven minutes to go, Jokic was walking up the floor. He was dead when he missed one minute. And, you know, this is a 300 pound man that's got to do everything for you. Yes. I, I think they really, uh, really screwed up and, uh, you know, not giving him the five usual five minute rest he takes at the start of the second quarter. But, uh, Michael Porter, who they're paying an ungodly amount of money to, no showed and formed the whole series. Murray was great in the first half, nothing in the second half. But when they, when they, you know, you got three through five, and you watch them and you say they can't stop Jokic, they can't stop right. Aaron, you know Aaron Gordon, they can't, they can't do anything. But then you, then when you see them when they're not functioning, you're saying. The Wolves are better than these guys, yeah. and uh, and they ended up being better than those guys. They they got younger legs. Jay, you know, yeah, McDaniel's so was, yeah, McDaniel's is fantastic. Uh, Edwards Edwards was more helpful on defense than offense in about four of the games, yeah. and uh, yeah. and Cat played great. Cat was yeah. uh, terrific. Cat was terrific, and even the game. You know, even the game when he got ten points, he was terrific, and because uh, he played defense and he yeah. played team ball, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's incredible. It's uh, it just was uh, just was not big game Minnesota like, was it? No, and that's <laughs> that's the thing. Well, that's the thing about this whole team is that they don't play like we've come to expect the good, even the good teams here. Like it just seems like they. Nobody here like overachieves or even properly achieves. I don't even think this team is overachieved at this point. I think they're just good. They're really good. And but but you're right. The big games, the big moments in the last, well, I don't know, 25 years. Like ever since the '91 World Series, like we're not really accustomed to the really good teams here rising to the occasion. Like it happens sometimes. You know, you, the Wild have won a bunch of Game Sevens in there. Um, a lot of them in surprising fashion. You know, the Wolves did get to the yeah, conference that, finals that, twenty years ago, exactly. Yeah, after, the wild uh, thing, but the wild thing was two thousand three. Yes, Since then they've won yes. two playoff series exactly. total. So, right. Uh, well, you that's know, the they've thing, laid like, they've laid enough eggs to last forever. But uh, this is the first series that a 
you know, one of the major Minnesota men's teams has won to get to the conference finals since the Wolves did it 20 years ago. Like the Vikings have won mm-hmm. games to get to the conference title game, mm-hmm. but the Wild haven't been there since then. The Twins haven't been there since then. The Wolves haven't been there since then. Like they haven't even been this far. So yeah, I think everyone is expecting the worst. And even if even as the Wolves are making their their comeback yesterday, I'm like, okay, oh, they got it to ten. Okay, this is still a game. Um, but when it was fifty eight thirty eight, I I turned to my wife and I was like, oh, the Wolves aren't going to win this game. Like this is over. And it just seemed yeah. like it was over. It, we shouldn't be surprised based on this series, but we should be surprised because it was a game seven. They're on the road. They didn't look like they didn't look like they had anything going, and then then they did. It was unbelievable. Uh, uh, well, Mrs. Ricey, uh, who's not exactly a hardcore sports fan, no. wandered down here <laughs> in game five and watched a quarter sitting on the cu- on the couch down here, watched the second quarter and said, how come everybody thinks this team's good and went back <laughs> upstairs? And then last night I went up there at halftime and I said, eh, it's all over for our boys. Uh, yeah. their, uh, the run is over. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. Some I, I think it is the weirdest series that I've ever, uh, certainly yeah. we've ever had around here. And I think it's one of the weirdest ones I've ever observed fully. Uh, I covered the 86 world series, you know, the Mets, Red Sox, and I have covered a lot of goofy, uh, goofy playoff series, but this is, this is the strangest thing of all time, just because, you know, it, it, it wasn't compelling because of close games. It was no. compelling. And how do these blowouts happen? Now, last night was a close game. It I was, mean, they, yeah. didn't, they did not bust it open until, what, two minutes ago or something like that. Yeah, but, even, uh, and even then, it was a little t- a little tense after they threw yeah. one away at the end. But, yeah. Yeah, well, I texted out that I, I, I just feel like, I mean, it looks like they're going to win it now, but I, I can feel this Drew Pearson moment coming mm-hmm. here that some disaster – and then they got it eight, and uh, Reggie Miller declares that it's over, and then Cat can't get the ball in bounds. And well, what are you doing, Cat? I don't know. Dumb, the yeah. one dumb play you yes. made all, all day was yep. like complete panic. With yes. uh, you know, you know where they think this team what? inbounding Inbound. the ball. Right, they are terrible inbounding the ball. They don't when they have <laughs> to inbound it. They don't <laughs> run anything. They don't have anything. They don't spend any time and getting that... Go ahead. figured out how to inbound the ball. Come on. But that gave us one of the great moments in the game when you maybe <clears throat> when you maybe thought it was going their way when they had to desperately inbound it to go bare and he makes that ridiculous like seventeen foot uh, both <laughs> yes, in terms of right. length and height. Uh, yeah. 17 footer over Jokic at the shot clock buzzer in the fourth quarter. That's one of those plays where you're like, ah, those are, those are the shots. Those are the weird shots that go in against Minnesota, not for the Minnesota no, teams, no. right? And Cat Cat's defense against Jokic, yeah, you know, was really really sound, and he didn't get they didn't call a lot of fouls, which was good. And but that lets Rudy do what Rudy can do is what yeah. guard the basket. They can't, you know, they they nobody Aaron Gordon and those guys aren't going to be killing you inside if you got Rudy down there playing at, at you know low. But if you got to, if he's got to come out and guard Jokic, then all of a sudden you can get to the basket. But uh, uh, their I mean their defense the last two games was uh, magnificent. Yeah. I yes. mean it was just just fantastic and. Our guy Scott Foster, we were a little worried, but yes, he was the fine. first five six minutes. Uh, they basically allowed violence. The referees <laughs> <laughs> they chose didn't call up and chose violence. Yeah, it, it was, uh, and then I said, "Okay, they're gonna they're gonna let them play," because uh, I saw something statistically that guy that was the lead referee on Game Six. Yeah, and Mark Davis is it? Yeah. Mark Davis is like calls the fewest fouls in the league, right? And so that's the way games are played there. But uh, I, I didn't expect that last night, but they let them play. And uh, that, that really benefits the Timberwolves now, uh, Yeah, uh, you know, because uh, I'm not a, you know, break it down guy, but Denver's offense is based on a lot of, you know, cuts away That's from the motion, ball yeah. on uh, when Jokic has got the ball. And right. the fact our fellas were able to hold them up on those cuts uh, helped a lot. 
the guy, the guy that they really got a lot out of that they got nothing out of last night was Aaron Gordon. He'd been, yeah. he was like the player of the game about three times for them. And then yeah. last night, what, he, he have did like nothing. five points last night. I mean, he was still good defensively, yeah. but he's, yeah, if he's not scoring, if they don't have something, if they don't have a third guy that's going, and obviously Murray and Jokic were going last night, but if they don't have a third guy. There, uh-huh. you know, and Porter was nothing, like you said. Pope did, Pope didn't do much, and they didn't didn't get much from their from anybody else. So yeah, they're they were kind of stymied there. Um, you made a good yeah. point. You made a good point earlier too about Cat and how good he was, and also just the stretch where he got his fifth about you know fairly early in the fourth quarter when the Wolves were starting to kind of not pull away, but when they were ahead, Nas gave them. Some real that way that's that stretch. I mean, that stretch. The putback dunk on yeah. the ball. Oh, that was unbelievable, man alive. And then he chucked in a couple of threes, dude, didn't he? At least one. He, he got one in three, three in there and a yeah. couple of free throws, I think, too. I think he had like seven in that stretch. You know what is weird? His three point shot is kind of weird because his release is fantastically quick, but it's certainly not classic because he kind of no. brings it up. He brings it up, but uh, it's almost like a two-handed uh, set he, shot. It's like a push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, but it's a it's a instant. To I mean, he, he really has a quick release, and I think when you watch him defensively, you he gives you no hint he's going to shoot. <laughs> yes, and all that's of a true. The ball's gone, and uh, right. and uh, man, he was. Uh, I mean, he had his few minutes, and then McDaniel's. Uh, he was. You great. know the the. Uh, Pitch isn't wrong when he says the barometer of our team is how McDaniel plays. And, uh, you know, he always plays well defensively, but six and seven, he was fabulous. So, yeah. You know, he kind of started, and, the, yeah. started the rally with, a, I think, a started the, the kind of the blitz on game six with the three in the corner that kind of got them going and then made some big shots yesterday, especially when Ant wasn't hitting. And Ant, you know, with what goes six of twenty four. You don't expect they're gonna oh, win mm-hmm. when he goes six of twenty four. But I thought, you know, aside Man. from shooting, he was he made he still he still made the big plays, right? He still had that kind of spurt at the end of the third quarter that got them to within one. We had like the steal and then the dunk, and then the three with Gordon in his face at the buzzer um at the end of the third. And then he hit that three with about three minutes left to put him up ten that really kind of felt like it gave him the final. Yeah, that was the ball. Separation. That was the... That was uh, who made that pass? Or was that McDaniel's? That was who made that pass? The, yeah, it was either McDaniel's or, or, or Nas. It was either Nas or McDaniel's. I, I can't remember who it was. So they made a great pass in the yes. corner, and that was right when things were going their way. And if they get one more bucket, they win yep. the game. And then he and then he made that three. But uh, he was. They did a magnificent job on him, double teaming him defensively, and the Wild I mean, the Wolves couldn't make him pay. No, the first half I couldn't make him pay the first uh, twenty eight minutes or something, but uh, they finally finally figured out a few things. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it was. I have a, there's a, rarely have I been as surprised at back to back games. <laughs> and yeah, watching Minnesota sports is uh, first of all, you're watching the game six and just. What what is this? this? Kind of, and then they're, they're they're giving up with like ten minutes to go, and then, then they're right. They right. should. They're forty down, then fifty down. It yes. was, a, and 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 still, and still, people will look at that. And Denver was a five point favorite last yesterday yeah. after the after you beat them, after you beat them by forty five. So uh, it was really a weird series, and it was fun. And uh, I'm also very happy about one thing, and I hope. The target center doesn't have a watch party, but they probably will. Yeah, they probably Let will. the bars around town <laughs> who've suffered through you stiffs for <laughs> decades, yes. not selling anything. Let the bars have, you know, cooperate with the bars like you've been doing. Let the local sports bars fill themselves to the brim. Tom's watch bar downtown. We had a photo of that today and all these places. Mm-hmm. We don't need Target Center, you know, mediocre, overpriced concessions. Let the bars have <laughs> the watch parties. That's my theory. I, I like hate it. those. I hate watch parties because there's you're taking the you're taking money away from people who suffer, you know, 
all year round uh, trying right. to get somebody to watch your games, and then now all of a sudden you got some enthusiasm, and you gotta you gotta have your watch party. Let's uh, let's let's let the local bars enjoy this. Yeah. Well, and they get you know the upshot of this too as we move on is. Wednesday game one is here because Dallas beats yes, right. Oklahoma City, so they've got home court now in the Western Conference Finals. Which again, they did twenty years ago. The only other time they made it, they did have home court in that one too because they were the one yep. seed that year. So, um, but you know, I think I think I saw the you know they they're making predictions already on the TNT show, and everybody there predicts Wolves over Mavericks. I mean, on paper. Wolves are better, but the Mavs got a lot better at the trade deadline. They picked they up a couple big size, guys. Yeah. They got some size yeah. to go with to go with Luca and Kyrie. The the perimeter challenge will be much greater than it was in this Denver series because both of those guys are crafty. Both of those guys are you know really good at you know just getting a basket whenever you need it. So you're not going to have this. I, I don't. I don't think we're going to see the same. Kind of series. I think we could. I, I think Dallas. There will be a, there will be much closer games. I would imagine with Dallas just because the way Dallas is built. I don't think you're going to see these like blowouts one way or the other. It's probably going to be a little bit more back and forth. But it's right there for them. It's right there in front of them. They're you know they're the three seed against the five seed. That doesn't didn't used to happen in the NBA. But I don't know. It's uh you just kept thinking if they can get past Denver, they've got a real chance here. Now they did. Now they did. Yes. Yeah, and you get to. I'd rather play them in Oklahoma City, but the one thing is, Kyrie's well rested because he usually takes half the season off. So uh, right. you're not, you know, he's uh, when he's interested, and he got interested with what about 20 games to go in the season and started playing great. And uh, he's uh, he's he, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot harder to take him out of the game than it was Murray. Uh, yes. I mean, he's he's a, he's an incredibly talented moron. So uh, he's uh, one of the idiots of the NBA. Right. You know, the Earth is flat, and I don't. I thought that. I, I always thought that was a joke, but it wasn't. And uh, and then Doncic is Doncic. When Kyrie wasn't playing, Doncic had to ball his hand more than anybody in the league, and yeah. he's a. Uh, you know, the one thing about Doncic, too, is last year he got himself in really good shape, and this year they said the hell with it and had a better league. He's back right. being fat again, and he's back being chubby again, and he's fantastic. He's uh, he's uh, leading them in everything, including rebounds. That's that's the other thing is uh, who's ever, uh, whoever got the duty has got to keep him off the boards, too, gets those second chances. So uh, it's uh, – yeah, it'll be tough because you got those two uh, – you got two superstars on that team, and uh, – but yes, if the uh, you, you just can't get yourself overconfident here now because uh, <laughs> you know it's going to be a war, you know. Oh yeah, I think this would be good. I think this could be a really good series. I really do, and I think yeah. I got to wonder. Like I think they asked Ant. I think it was Ant on the post game last night. Said he be guarding Kyrie, um, which makes sense. I wonder who who Conley I, gets. I, I, I don't think that they walked into the uh, locker room after the game yesterday and told Ant he was going to guard Kyrie. <laughs> I think didn't. I think that's just I think that's just Ant babbling. His so youthful exuberance. But, he had yeah. he had plenty of the youthful exuberance in the post game last night. Yes. Uh, he and it's, you know, it is really high risk though to uh, put him on national TV right after a game because he <laughs> might say anything, yeah, just... including you know. Including, I keep telling this not to foul. Like, yes. you know? yes. yeah, he's, uh, he's something, and uh, it's uh, it is a, uh, it is amazing that these uh, these these all they've almost been the orphans of the uh, Twin Cities big time sports, yeah. and I, this is. Uh, uh, this is more exciting, excited than they were in 04 h hitting the third round because you, even though they were the home team, the Lakers were right. solid favorite. Oh, I yeah. mean, the Lake, Lakers had Kobe and Shaq at the right. prime for God's right. sake. So, uh, and then you, you know, Sammy Cassell yep, got hurt, Cassell. and you had right. no chance. But, uh, right. but it, you know, they ended up going six, and it is. But this team is. This team is a little different. The league's so much different oh, now, gosh. too. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, it's 
it's a three point league and it's a, it's a, uh, and it's a, also a, I have, uh, I think it's in a lot of ways, it's a more physical league, even than it was in 04. Now the bad boys and those stuff in the decade earlier, but uh, I, I don't know. I think how the game is officiated is re- really more important in the league now than it's yes. ever been. Because if you, if you let them, you let them play defense, it's great. And you know what else is making a big comeback too? Hmm. The the mid range is making a big comeback in especially, those playoffs. Yeah, especially think? in the playoffs, because when you know when buckets yeah. are harder to come by, mm-hmm. it's uh, you see these guys taking those 15, 17 footers. Absolutely, yeah. I, you know, Ant's taking some. Um, Joel Murray takes some. Yeah, I think it's uh, like it's just in the playoffs when everybody plays tighter defense you don't always get the you don't always get that shot that you want you don't always get the three the the layup or the free throw sometimes the shot clock's at five and you're like well i guess the 17 footer is about as good as it's gonna get the nba game to me seems that it doesn't it doesn't last as long as a football game but it has so many more plays in a hockey game it's it seems like when you're guarding the lead it seems like these games are endless. They go on forever right. when you're, you know, your team is 12 oh, yes. up with, with six minutes to go and the, the other team hits a bucket. And you're, ah, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, it's just with all those possessions, it's just a, uh, the, the dra- dramatics of it is just something uh, unbelievable compared to, and, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, I wrote something saying, it's because you every time the ball comes over the timeline, you expect something to happen. Yes, hockey when the puck comes over the blue line, ninety eight percent of the time it doesn't mean a dang no, thing. Just so, dump uh, it in, and someone else goes and gets yeah, it. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a, and then it, you know, football it takes you ten minutes to get down there, whether it, right. for an important play. So uh, it's a, it's a really uh, a compelling thing, the playoffs, and it's uh, you know just. Uh, just uh, a, a, a amazing games in this series, and everything that's happened early in this postseason with them is amazing. Because you know, who could have guessed they were going to blow Phoenix's doors no. off after getting their doors blown off by Phoenix? Yes. Uh, and who, who could have guessed that? And then this whole thing is. Well, how many times did we? Uh, you know, how many times we give up on them? You know, we, so you know, they, they, they lose yeah. game five. We yes. lose, yeah, it's over. They, uh, they might, they might, they might win six, out. but they're not going to win they seven. Might, yeah. They might sneak one out in six. Right. And 50. Yes. You know, it's, it's just, an, it's just really weird. It's really weird. And, uh, uh, you know, the one, the one thing we found out, whoever ends up owning the, uh, Owning the Timberwolves after this is going to have to pay the hundred nine million dollar, you know, the hundred nine minutes yeah. because you can't get rid of Cat no. now. No, no, he was, so. he showed me something in this series. I, yes, I didn't. Yes. He, he was he was very good, and especially in Game Seven. I know he had that. You know, we talked about the brain cramp with the inbound pass, but right after that, he comes back with that put back dunk, and they're put only back, up five. Yeah. You know, Conley misses yes. that layup. He comes <laughs> screaming in. You know, Conley was double teamed, so he saw that he had an opening. He comes screaming in, puts that back with about 40 seconds left. Like, that could have got a little, they'd probably still win if he doesn't do that, but that could have got a little uncomfortable if he didn't make that play. And he made a lot of other winning plays in that game, kept them in it when they weren't doing much else. He had other games like that in the series, too. He was great in game two. Um, and his defense, yeah, his defense the whole series. Like, you know, he keep hearing, yeah, he's bought into the team concept. He, you know, he'll do this, he'll do that. I think this was this series was more evidence of that than I had seen consistently um, in big moments. So he's you know he he should get some he should get a good good amount of praise right now for kind of where his where his game and and mind have evolved to because he's 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 not a completely mature player but he's a much more mature complete player now than he has been. So do you think the basketball hating commenters at the Star Tribune articles? Uh, well, you know, that, uh, that, uh, you know, feel the need to, uh, tell us every time there's a story that they don't play any defense in the NBA uh, would be, <laughs> would, would be able to, uh, would be able to adjust that thinking. Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it was, it, you know, it's always been a ridiculous thing to say, but, uh, it is, uh, it is incredible how, 
you know, you can you can hold the team to 105 points and play great defense, and because yeah. uh, the games last forever, and, uh, and the this team is, is uh, yeah. this team. I mean, Ant is. You know, I think in Edwards. I don't you think his defensive game has improved more this year than oh. his offensive game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his, you look at his offensive numbers; they're a little bit better. His efficiency this year is a little bit better, but yeah, the defense and just the just the possession by possession uh focus for him on both ends is that's the sharpness right like he used to kind of drift at some points he'd like kind of rely on the talent and when that happens you know he'd you know they got you know the the series two years ago against memphis when things were going great they were going great but then you know when things weren't they weren't so yeah i think i think it's the focus and i think that comes down to defense for him too and i think that's what people i think it's what fans really like about this team isn't just edwards but like in this market, people love effort. Defense is effort, right? Like, and they also like brains, and that's. Yes. Uh, I think the real transition with the team was when they got rid of D'Lo and brought in Conley. Because yeah. oh, when you sure. watch Conley yes. play, you say all your cliches about the NBA and the weirdos that are playing it and stuff. All of a sudden, you got this gentleman who's a great, <laughs> a great player way to you put know, it. he's a gentleman in the league for 17 years <laughs> although i thought he was going to maybe get his first ever technical when they threw him on the floor yes, and jumped on the ball, ball. and yeah. ended up calling it a uh, jump ball right you know and he's down there getting he's like i called time out dude. i called time out <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I got told time out after they threw me on the floor, right. you know, right. you know, which you didn't call. Right. So then I called time out, and uh, you know, the the funny thing is, being a gentleman and never complaining does him no good at all with the officials. <laughs> all they're going to say is, "That's eh, Connolly. I can right. I can make a lousy right. call on him. He's not going to complain." Right. I, you know, so uh, <laughs> it it. it he can, he, but uh, he, you know, the last half of this year, too, he's made way more uh, threes when you really wanted yeah. them than, uh, and that one he hit on the far sideline yesterday was uh, was big in that comeback, too. Yeah, all he made a, a, big, sudden, beat a couple of big ones yesterday. Because a lot of times you say, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. He made it. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they need him. They need him, obviously. I mean, game five, they were lost without him. I mean, he played. Three and four, did, and they certainly could have won. Did Morris get off the bench last night? No, they they basically they almost played seven last night. I think Kyle Anderson played four minutes, Good, and then Nas and Nas and uh, Na played. Na, you know, kind of the usual. Uh, Na was terrible. Uh, I mean, he yeah. still plays defense. Yes, but, uh, he missed every shot that they uh, they let him take shots, and he missed them all. He never. I don't think he made a shot the last. Two three games. No, he's he... not. He's kind of missed uh, missed on that. But yeah, I think the you He'll know guard you though. Yes. You know? So he's and that's that's going to be huge against Dallas, right? Because if you've got Ant playing defense and you got McDaniel's and you got Nah, kind of <laughs> swarming around you, that's that's pretty that's pretty important against you know Luca and Kyrie and you know they throw Hardaway at you. They've got a lot of guys who can who can score, but Wolf should have a. Yeah, should have a Hardaway, defensive uh, answer. You made a good point, Hardaway. He's that he's that third guy who can get hot, man, and make a bunch of threes. So yeah, Dallas is good. You know, he, I, he can yeah. shoot. Yeah, they are good. It'll be it'll be a that'll be a series. It'll be a high uh, high octane series. Talk about an ownership weird thing. Cuban sold the team, and he still still shows he's up. still running it. He's still yeah. running it. He's at all the games and he's jumping around like he still owns it. I, I don't quite understand that whole thing, but uh, anyway, he'll be here. He'll be here jumping around. So yeah, anyway. that should be, should be a fantastic series. I just, I still can't believe they won that game last night based on where things were. So that's so many, so many plays along the way that you're kind of thinking about now. Like, yeah, the, the put back by Nas, the, um, the Gobert, like I said, the, the shot clock Go beating. Bear. Yeah. Shot yeah, clock he beating. He, not only that, but he had about three other times when he tried to make moves. We don't want you making moves, no. Rudy. <laughs> just dunk. Just dunk. Just stand You're good. out there and dunk. Right. You know, but he was like driving and all of a oh, sudden. Oh, yeah. There's, right. There's, there's the play where he like basically took it from the three point line. Like he's like, <laughs> well, Jokic is overplaying me on this side. I think maybe I yeah, should just right. drive to the basket. Yeah. I think it, it worked, though. I think he got fouled at least. I think he got. What something. he ended up, he ended up making about six 
six out of eight or something. Yeah, too. he fouled so before he fouled eight out, out of there. Ten, yeah. Seven out of ten. Out. Yeah, fouled out with he about two minutes his, left. He was making his free throws, uh, was. which was which was uh, unusual to say the least. So <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. So Wednesday, Wednesday, when yeah. here? Wednesday, Friday, or Wednesday, Wednesday Friday? Saturday? I think I think the whole series. Yeah, Wednesday, Friday. I think the whole it, series is just every other day. Is every other day. Okay. So Wednesday, well, Friday, and then Sunday back in Dallas. Tuesday, and then. Thursday, Saturday, Monday, I think is how it goes. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, though, and my poor Knicks, though, man, they had nobody left oh, to it play, is. and then yeah. Brunson breaks his hand, and uh, yeah, they yeah. Uh, they got they got all beat to hell. And I sure some people in New York, I'll say, Tim's, that's what you get for paying everybody forty two minutes. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, yeah, the Indiana uh, Celtics are gonna. I would guess the Celtics in five, and then they can sit around and wait for whatever team, the uh, whichever team, uh, yes, you know, wins this series. So they, they also start earlier too, right? They start tomorrow night. Right? I think so. Tuesdays. They've had a considerably yeah. easier path to their conference final. Yes. They had to beat. Uh, who did they beat in the first round? It wasn't anybody that was much of anything, and then no, uh, they're uh, then Cleveland, they're, uh, which was banged up, and you know, no yeah. Mitchell at the end yeah. of that series, so. But uh, you know, our boys got Dallas to worry about, so yes. we'll worry about Boston yes. later, maybe. Yeah. So, Royal Credit Union Smart Checking Accounts offer no monthly fees and no minimum balance. Enjoy financial freedom when you open your Royal Credit Union Smart Checking Account online at rcu.org/go-checking. Insured by NCUA. Well, before we before we move on to the Twins, which I think is maybe their our only other subject, except maybe we well we might have to talk to talk about one other thing too but uh i want to one thing we didn't mention on that wolves game was did you see mcdaniels with about 20 seconds left try to do the bounce yeah dunk to himself? Was what was smart. that i was like what that are you doing not... yeah i think he gets uh, youthful exuberance <laughs> a little over amped once in a while <laughs> but uh, did you see Jokic come over yeah. and was was uh yeah. complained yeah. about like, it like don't do uh, that don't do that yeah yeah not to him but he came over and said what are you guys doing? You know, yeah. got word because I I was really surprised that they gave up with. Like I did too. It was like twenty seconds, seconds left, left, and it was like a yeah, seven or eight point game. You're like following them and try yeah, one more thing. Yeah. They, you know, that's a little different than giving up when you're down forty. You know, yes. with two minutes yeah. to go or something. But uh, that was weird. So, and then yeah, that's well, we know uh, we we can uh, McDaniel's. Uh, in a, in a very quiet way, he he can punk you too. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, that was a sign of immaturity. Even though he's yeah. not, well, how old yeah. is he now? He's a year older than Cat, right? So he's twenty three, I think. So then, yeah, I, would, I think he's twenty three. I think he's yeah, he's a year older than Cat. But hey, I, mean, I tell you, who did a fine job putting this team together? Gerson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Gerson in this team, isn't there? There's a lot of Gerson in this team. Yeah, yes, I mean, you yes, got yes. Jaden and Ant in the same draft. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, Nas. Nas is a free undrafted agent. free agent. Uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's got we got like three different uh, three different staffs put this one together because you got Cat still holding uh-huh. on, and then you got that kind of middle group, and then obviously uh, you know you had Conley that brought in. Rudy. Rudy and uh and Mike Conley and Na. Yeah. So yeah. You know, the, yeah, and Anderson, right. I guess, too. So it's all yeah, over the place. He's uh Kyle is uh I don't know. The more athletic your opposition gets, the more trouble Kyle has. So well and I, I'm not a Kyle guy. I'm not a guy. I like him last year, but he, he yeah, can't shoot. He can't play the three. He's not a he's not a small forward. You try to put him in there when all of your other guys are when all of your other guys are healthy, when Nas, Cat, and Rudy are all healthy, they're gonna take the ninety six minutes between the four and the five. And so they try to get Kyle Anderson some minutes at the three. And he's just not he's not quick enough to play the three. He's just out of position there. And the way where his value comes in, where his value comes in, it was like end of the year. He started playing better when Cat was out because he was playing the four, and that's where he can actually do some, do some of his good things. So yeah, he's he, his yeah, value is diminished right still now. Still takes him four seconds to get a shot off. So slow mo, he is slow mo. Slow mo, yeah. Um, well, I mean, yeah, they didn't. How many minutes did he play that meant anything? About four a game, right? Four or yeah, five a game. Unless somebody was, as you say, if somebody was in foul trouble, right. he played, but. Uh, 
Yeah, they're only, uh, they, we talk about their depth, but we only talk about their depth because they got Nas and Nah. Right. You know, it's re- they're really a seven person team. So, yeah, which is okay in the playoffs. And they can be, you, know, you can be nine deep in the regular season. And because, you know, half the time you go what to the teams that aren't any good. Oh, man. What a grind, though. You're only halfway done here. I know. It. I, I know mean, it. it's, it's incredible. So um, anyway, got to talk about the twins and and the surprise. Maybe maybe the scope is not the same, but uh, PWHL Minnesota after like just going what five regular season games and then the two shutout in the playoff games, they they come back and win that series against Toronto. Um, not exactly a grind to make the finals. Though, <laughs> no, that's you? less of a grind. Yeah, isn't you got to get through now? one round. It's right, a six team well, league. There's, but, there's only uh, six teams, but yeah, the fact that they got the fact that they but, won those three games after losing seven in a row. Um, yes, and without really, any goals, basically those no. games they, they were getting one might have been their max in those losing streaks, and now they got uh, even last night they got beat, but they got three goals or something, right? Yeah, five four. For Boston, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, did anybody show up for Game Five here? I don't know what crowd they announced, but in Toronto, I don't know. I yeah. I heard from uh, no. Oh, and they, when they played Game Four here, I mean, uh, oh yeah, they, I, you know, I think they were getting I a few thousand for those playoff yeah. games here. Yeah, it's a league in its infancy, and last year, the, the next year, it's going to be so much easier when they have a nickname, <laughs> a nickname, and a Isn't logo, it? and all the, the fighting PWHLs or yes, something like that. Right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I got to tell you, I really have no comments because no. I, I I went over and uh, no, I didn't think I actually saw. I didn't see a game. But by the way, uh-huh. the one the one gal I wrote a column about Tappany. Yeah. She's now with Boston, right? Did she score a goal the other night, or is she? They 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 traded her. They did make a trade. Days, I know that they traded her about two days after I wrote about her, <laughs> and then she uh, and then she was in New York, and then I think she switched teams again. So oh. uh, she, I saw her get a goal. She had a goal the other day, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's uh, you know it's it's trying to get started and. Uh, We'll uh, we'll see what comes of it, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it was weird. I mean, it was fun to it was fun to joke about how they drove their way into the playoffs or something <laughs> right. like that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, it's uh, you know. Uh, then we got the uh, the the we have now. You know what I discovered? What's that? You know, if you're talking about fourths, you got quadrants, right? Mm-hmm. If you're talking about eighths, there's no word for it. No. It's just one eighth. There's no word for it. Okay. So the baseball season, you got your eight eighths, right? And then well, you got two so. games yeah. left right. over. Exactly. Yeah. Roughly you got two games left over. So I always call them. So the first eight, eighth, you're seven and thirteen. The twins. The yes. next eighth, the next eighth, you're seventeen and three. And now this eighth, you're 0 and six already. Yes. And you stink. Offensively, you are awful. Ed yes. Julian, Eddie Julian, we were, you know, we were tied into what what did you say? 210, Ian? 210 right now with 56 210 strikeouts. strikes out. And it's equally divided between strike three looking and strike three swinging. And he, if you put the ball anywhere below his navel, he can't hit it. He's, uh, you got that high ball swing. And so he's terrible. And they're, you know, really, I I was doing my own version of the old scouting thing that the baseball guys use is two through eight, you know, Terry yep. Ryan. And so two, yeah, because nobody could ever be a one. Nobody's ever that bad, right? A one. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that an eight is a, right. like, <laughs> but they, they would do that. Based on you know, okay, he's an eight runner, he's a six runner, and he's a five fielder, and he's a yeah. They would you know then coming up, but I was I was doing my two through eight on their lineup. Yeah, they got a lot of threes right now. They yeah. are, they, they you know a Miranda he might get a hit by accident, but he's he's a three. Kyle Farmer's a three. Santana's yeah. played well enough to be a five. Julian's a three right now. Christian Vasquez, Vasquez is a is three. Like, he's a, he's three. a two. He's, 
terrible. Uh, Kirillov's a three. They Buxton's a five at best, which is average. Yeah, uh, because he can't hit. And uh, I mean, he played, made a great play yesterday, and got him into extra innings. And uh, and, and but uh, man, alive, they just. It's not a good, it's, you know, the, the, the Carol, huge disappointment. Julian, huge disappointment. Yeah. Uh, Farmers, it looks terrible. I you know he did a little okay. I, I don't know. They're not, they're just not good because we thought the yeah. lineup was going to be the strength of this team, and it's not. It's, no, uh, it's not. It's and Kepler. We you might seen you might have just seen Kepler his best. You yeah. know, too. Well, he's gonna. He's gonna Jeffers probably is about the off. only one that's dangerous all yes. the time. Yeah, I mean, Kepler carried him there during that. You know, <laughs> the good stretch. But uh, I, you could say, yeah, I've never been a big believer in. Okay, they got to play the easy teams, and that's right. why they were seventeen and three. Right. Well, it helped. But it's also, you know, it's all. It's also how you're playing, and they were right. playing pretty good. But yeah, they had a stretch I there. Mean, the paddock is, uh, I don't know how long he's going to be able to last, but he's pitching pretty good. And uh, well, we have him go eight innings the other day, right? Eight innings for yeah. paddock. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the Simeon Ridge, Woods Richardson look like, you know, I don't know, he's been good half the time. And uh, good enough. Yeah. The rotation over had a finally had a bad game. The rotation, which we were all in a panic about. Yeah. Looks better than any other part of the team right now. Yes. And there's idiots. Duran starts a guy with a breaking ball, curveball. Let him look. The curveball becomes very effective once you make him look at 100. Okay. Right. And it, that was the first pitch, right? Wasn't it? I, I, think, it so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Then he gives up, and he gives up on curveballs two home runs over the weekend, and he, uh, he kind of ripped the team. Did you see that quote? No, I didn't see it. What did he say? Uh, he said, I didn't why I wanted to throw a fastball, but they came out and basically said they, the Mackey came out and told them to throw a breaking ball, and huh. they threw a breaking ball, and they gave <laughs> up a home run. So. Look what happens. Look what happened, you guys. I you mean. No, uh, uh, I'll tell you what. They're, uh, they had, I was there Thursday when they. You ripped uh, them good the other day with a 378 pitches without a run that was funny All 378 pitches are against the yankees yeah, yeah. and uh yeah jeffers and but there was a fairly good crowd a lot of kids uh, were there on yeah, thursday over but, thirty thousand uh, that game yeah the uh the level of interest in this team right now when you throw in the tv you yeah. throw in the bad pr when the season started there's a, and now you got something else to concentrate on you the know the wolves fever, there, yeah. there. They're in trouble. They're in yes. trouble. Yeah, um, I think I think so. On the field and off the field with the people trying to I, I think they're uh you know, they thought they were gonna draw two million building on no. the the excitement of last year, and you took away the excitement by proudly announcing yes. you were gonna cut payroll. So uh it's uh and then the no T V thing is huge. Yes, I, the thing with the Comcast, yeah. Which you can't all those customers can't watch them. We're going on almost three weeks of that now. Three weeks tomorrow. Yes. That's, uh, and and, and cable a, has much more influence with the baseball audience yes. than anybody else because yes. it's an older audience. You know, yes. the average baseball fan's fifty eight or something. Like right. That. And the people that still so, had Comcast are the people who are probably your those are your diehards. Those are the people who thought they were kind of they were good. They were going like, all right, all this stuff you're talking about, I don't care about the streaming. I don't care about anything. I still got my baseball. And then now that's gone. Yeah. And, you know, they got, yeah. well, there's a hearing next month to sort this all out, I think. But that's, you know, that's a month from now until their plan either gets proved or rejected. And they don't imagine what's going to happen in the, much is going to happen in the meantime. And you're right, this team on the field, like, you know, we've seen enough of them now to think what you say is like, it's it's more. I think the seventeen and three was a lot more surprising than anything oh, God, else, yes. right? Like that's yeah. you yeah. look at it and you're just like, yeah, you're more surprised when they play well than when they it's, don't play well at this point. Yeah, it's just not a. I mean, Correa's a great shortstop, but yeah, yeah he's a. He, I thought he'd be a better hitter. He's not a. Yeah, he's okay. He's been a okay hitter, okay but to, he okay hasn't. He, has, he doesn't. You know, what's he got? One home run. 
two, two maybe two or three. Yeah, but it's not much. Doesn't. And uh, you know, Buxton's Buxton. He's you know he's you know he made a hell of a play on the bases yesterday, but he's you know he had two fifteen last year, right? Yeah, fifteen, I think. So they uh, need Royce. We got to oh, see if they're, they're still and, see if they're still they, relevant when he gets back. And they can't, they can't, uh, they can't keep him out long enough. They're proudly keeping him <laughs> from doing anything. So, you know, yeah, I, yeah they need him, and but they, I don't know. They're just, uh, they're just not very good. I no. keep, you no, know, I, I, I see they, uh, they, they're letting Jay Jackson take the what's his name, Jay Jackson, Jackson right? Yeah. yeah. He was cleaning out his locker yesterday, so he must have some phenom pitcher coming up. I think they already maybe. announced who they they put out a release last night. I'm trying to remember who it was, but yeah, they new they body, de- new, uh, yeah, who they bring in? Can't remember. Okay, well, it's not going to be a difference maker. It's no. probably you'll probably pitch once and go away. So anyway, they're in D.C. though. I wish I was there. I've been to that ballpark a few times. It's. Uh, I got relatives out there, and yeah. uh, we've been to that ballpark. But they're uh, they they talk about a team that won the World Series and they got rid of everybody. Yeah, but they, you <laughs> right. know, their first move is to get rid of Bryce Harper. Huh? Right, like uh, okay, they won the World Series. <laughs> right, spend some money. Uh, <laughs> right, Jesus. right. Jesus. He goes to Philly, and they're the best team in baseball, and right. they love them there. They want to yeah. have parades, and uh, right, it's. Uh, yeah, you look at the crowds of the baseball yesterday. They were fantastic, but not yeah. for uh, you know. Right, right now it's uh, it's a uh, sad situation, I'd say. Yeah. Well, everyone here's got wolves fever, Patrick. We'll see That's how right. uh, we'll see Should how it have. goes. It's uh, probably a good thing for everybody else involved that they got the wolves to you know <laughs> take, you can't, the, uh... take the distractions for a few weeks. And I hate to say this in the state of hockey. Give me the NBA playoffs oh, yeah. any day over the NHL because yes. it takes too long. And, you know, everybody says there's nothing better than NHL playoff overtime. Everything's better than NHL playoff overtime because you have, just because it starts today doesn't mean it's going to end today. Nothing worse than NHL overtime, okay? Thanks because you had don't, you know, play two on two. Get it over with, for goodness <laughs> sakes. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's so great. Yeah, it lasted seven hours. It was wonderful. You, everybody, nobody can move. They're laying on the ice and wandering around. One more thing. How about our Looney Tunes? Yes. Boy, this is not looking good for Adrian Heath, is it? No. Adrian <laughs> played all that boring <laughs> soccer all yeah. those years, and now this team, they win every game. They Ramsey win comes in, he's playing all the subs, he's doing all the things every, the fans yeah. have been screaming for all these years, <laughs> yeah. and they're better. Brucey McGuire, my buddy Brucey, and all those yeah. guys are just beside themselves love with it. joy because they finally got rid of Adrian. So, yeah. anyway. It's not wrong. All right, well, Thanks, Patrick. We'll talk to you next week. All right. See you. Goodbye.